From Accor Arena, we now feature a number one contender fight in the middleweight division as we are set for three five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in 185.8 pounds. His professional record includes 14 wins, three losses, representing Spain. He's fighting out of Rotterdam, Netherlands, Castello, the Spaniard. Van Stevens! And his adversary across the cage out of the red corner at six foot, weighing in 185.7 pounds. Inside the Bellator cage, he's five and zero oh, with five first round finishes. And as a professional, overall, the veteran brings 23 victories, 11 losses, fighting out of Paris, France, presenting Gregory In charge, your referee, Mike Beltran. Mike Beltran to oversee the action. Gregory Babette in the blank. Costello Van Stinas in the white. All right, gentlemen, first round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Hell, let's go. Touch of the gloves. Both fighters in the orthodox stance, bouncing Costello Van Stinas. Got some Anderson Silva style arm work there going on. Oh. Man, he can thunder with those punches. And just ripping them. Eyes on the hips and feet of Costello Bonstinas rather than looking at the target for Gregory Baben. High kick misses. Good balance, wow. Oh, ben timed it well. And there's the body lock. Wow, look at that. Just pulled right over. Now by Ben. By Ben looking for a triangle guard. here. You can see him stuffing that wrist into the crotch. He's going to try and swing his left leg over the shoulder. Waiting for the opportunity. He's dangerous because he, he doesn't want to give away his plan, but he needs to keep control of that wrist if he's going to get the triangle. Ben Stinas wise to it. Won't that, let that right arm go the wrong place. Nice. Picks him up and slams Baben. Still got to be cautious, especially with that left hand on the mat. There's a vulnerability there. You can see Baben going to control the right wrist again. He's going to try and stuff that down the center line so he can throw that leg over. But I feel like Van Stinas is going to be very much aware of what he's trying to do. Right hand work and a good elbow here from Van Stinas. There it is. That triangle There's the triangle. Attack. Can he lock it up? Van Stinas is trying to drag himself out of it. This might be not. It's not the right way to go. But Ben's going to try it. To... Oh, he's out. I thought he was stuck, guys. That back fist is generally the sign of desperation. He twisted just enough and popped out. North-south here for Costello Van Stinas, halfway through round one. But Ben just couldn't quite get to his own shin to clamp his opponent down. Could you imagine if Bob Ben just would have finished Costello? I mean, he for sure would have been number one contender, but getting Johnny Evelyn's take on him, if he was to pull that off, would have been probably a very different reaction from our champion. You need to be dangerous off your back to fight Johnny Evelyn. There's no doubt about it. In 25 minutes, you're going to spend some time on your shoulders. Stinas with that arm between the legs, that's dangerous. He might find himself in a reverse triangle. Now he removes it. Side control here for Van Stinas. He's got the elbow on the brow bone of his opponent. He might start to drop that down here. Few short shots. Expect Baben to explode very fast in a moment. He needs to try and get that left elbow on the inside of the hip so he's got some frames to work with. 
trying to bump, look, you can see the little bridge, the little bump. So much more di difficult to do in MMA when people can hit you in the face. Van Stevens is threatening this Americana lock. And something that's interesting, whenever you go for an Americana, the person always has to turn towards the arm, which often exposes their back. Oh, he rushed the mount, goes back to Butterfly Guard. But Van trying to get his legs involved with this fight. Van Stinas passes them to the other side here into side control again. Nice. That was a much better setup for the mount. But Ben stops it. He's trying to get back to a half guard, but Van Stinas wrestles through again with the knee. <laughs> now he's taking the back potentially. Watch for that right arm to wrap around the neck of that old oh, beautiful work by Baben. Creates a scramble. It is behind. But Baben stumbling into that. Hands down for Gregory Baben. And look at him swinging away now. Knee to the midsection. He caught him with that knee, by the way. Yep. Baben had lost in 10 years, and he is not planning to give that up tonight. Set for round two, number one middleweight contender bout. Costello Von Stinas, one round one. Gregory Baben is in the black trunks. Right, second round. He's the Frenchman who has not lost in a decade. Looking to stay on a hot streak against a hard-hitting Spaniard who drives a front kick into the midsection. <laughs> Gregory, let us know, yeah, that one landed. We could see that, Gregory, but thank you. Some swelling on the side of Gregory Baben's eye there, you can see. Right to the side of his uh, of his right eye. Strong jab, sharp kick. But Ben answers the low kick. Big John McCarthy, how do we see round one? Look, round one definitely goes to Costello Vanstinas. He dominated the round as far as where the fight was going to be. He got the positions, the triangle. It was attempted, but it wasn't close to being completed. He's the guy you're looking at with the 10-9 score. Mentioning Costello Von Stinas already has a victory in his career over Fabian Edwards. He also beat Mike Shipman, who we saw victorious earlier tonight in Paris. Johnny Eblen, the current Bellator undefeated middleweight champion. What do you think of round one? Yeah, I definitely have to give it to Van Stinas. He was dominating the round, staying on top. Uh, but at the end, uh, Mervain, you know, just throwing some punches, uh, landed a good knee. Um, a little good back and forth on the feet, uh, but I definitely think Vancinas has the you know upper hand when it goes to the ground. You see anything that surprised you? No, nothing surprised. We'll check in with Johnny Evelyn again if this fight continues. Swing and a miss there for Gregory Baben, and another. He's just going too high with these punches. He's going over the top of Van Stinas, and now he's on his back again. Can he do something with that butterfly hook? He's in a difficult position with it being against the fence. He might be better to try and shrimp his hips out away from the fence. But you can see the catch on the ankle. Good work by Van Stinas. Solidifies that half guard position. Trying for the Von Flute choke here. Carl Van Stinas, he's got it! There's the towel! Costello Van Stinas snaps the win streak of Baben! Ladies and gentlemen, the tap comes by way of a Von Flute choke. Official time, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. Round number two, he is the winner by submission. Costello, the Spaniard Van Stinas! Basking in the booze, Costello Von Stinas doesn't mind being in enemy territory.